All right, brace yourself. This is a bit of a long tutorial, but how to combine two images and one of them is going to appear kind of ghost-like and we're going to make them look oldie timey. All right, so I've got my two photos open in Photoshop. This is the scene I'm going to put this person in. All right. So the first thing I want to do is make sure they're both the same size so that when I put them together, they will match up. All right, so I'm first going to look at image, image size, and this one is about 7 by 10, 300 pixels per inch. I'm going to lower this down to 150 pixels per inch because this is just for the internet, and um, I'll change it to 7 inches high. And we'll fit screen. And for this one, now we'll come to image, image size. Now we have to match the pixels per inch, or it won't be the they won't be happy. <laughs> and again, seven inches high. We'll just sort of go with that. Obviously, we're going to want the woman to be smaller because we don't want her as tall as the trees. But we'll go ahead and fix that later. Um. All right. So. We want to make these kind of black and white with a tint to make it look old fashioned. You don't have to do that. If you want to just add it in without doing this next step, you can do that as well. But I'm going to come over here and I want to, it's sort of hidden up here, but I want to make some adjustments. And I'm going to come up here to black and white. I'm going to make it. I can sort of come up here and make some minor adjustments. It's a little bit hidden, all the different colors here, but I can come up here and adjust as I would like to. And you know, I'm going to crop out some of this sky because I don't need it all. All right, so I've come up here and you can mess around with this some more, but for the sake of shortening this, um, I'm going to add a tint. And I'm going to leave this at the default tint right now um, so that they both match up. But you can, if you click on here, you can change it to whatever color you'd like. All right. Um, I think I'd like to make it a little bit darker. So I'm going to come up here and adjust the brightness just to make it look even more spooky. All right. Now I'm going to go do the same thing with this photograph. Okay. Um, again, adjustments, black and white. And I'm just concerned with the woman because we are going to erase the background because we just want her to appear to be floating. And these color sliders are adjusting what used to be the color. Uh, so it's, those pixels are still there. And I'm going to adjust the brightness, which we will be able to adjust later on. All right, so I've got both of my photographs. Oh, I forgot to add the tint, didn't I? Let's go back to my black and white and add the tint. All right, so we've got um, both of them are tinted, both of them are black and white, and they're both a little bit on the dark side. So now I can take my move tool, the first tool on the top, click and drag. Oh, I forgot a very important step. If you notice over here on my layers, the adjustments I made to the person are each on their own layer. So when I tried to move it, it was just trying to move one of the adjustments I made. So I need to flatten the image to combine the adjustments into the photograph. So I'm going to come up here to layer and I'm going to scroll down here. It's sort of hidden to flatten image. Okay, so now you can see here they're all combined together. Now when I go to move my picture, my woman, she's over here. All right, so she's on top of this photograph here and I can move her around. And if you look over here to the right, You'll notice I've got a background layer with the trees, the two adjustment layers, and then the layer with our woman who's going to be the ghost. I need to make her a little bit smaller 
So I'm going to come up here and go to um, Edit, Free Transform, and I'm going to drag the corners, oops, holding down Shift, so it doesn't get all weird like it was getting. And I'm going to figure what size, I think I'm going to, I'm going to float her around in here-ish somewhere. Again, you can come up and make changes to this later and press Enter. All right, now I'm going to zoom in so I can see her. I press the space bar so the, when I'm zoomed in, if I press the space bar, my cursor turns into a hand and I can move around in my image. So the only thing I have left to do is to remove the extra uh, image or pieces from around her. So to do this, we're going to create a layer mask on top of her by clicking on this little rectangle with a circle in the middle where it says add layer mask. And it turns into a white layer. And if we come up here and grab a paintbrush and look down here and make sure that our foreground color is set to black, and you'll notice I've, my paint, my paintbrush, it shows up as a circle. And if you press the keys to the right of your P, you can make your paintbrush larger or smaller. And now I can just click and drag over my image. And if you look over here on my mask, it's painting black on top of a white, basically erasing that mask around her. I actually am going to change my um, brush. I want it to be have a harder edge. And I am going to zoom in just a little bit more so I can do a little bit better job. I'm going to again grab my paintbrush. Now I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so that I can come up here and work my way around. And if you ever make a mistake with this, maybe you're like, Whoa, oh, bummer. You can switch colors, and now you can paint white and add it back in. But then go back to your white, and now we can come here and work our way around. And I'm doing this rather quickly because I I know there's a way to speed up the video, but I just, oh, I got rid of her arm. I didn't realize it was there. I just got this picture of the woman off of the internet. What am I doing? I was painting with white. Okay, we the rug that she's, this is kind of a cool shot. She, it looks like she's almost floating. I Googled um, women in nightgowns to find this. Why is that always sort of a spooky scenario? All right, so we're pretty good there. Come back to my magnifying glass, fit screen. And there she is. So she's floating there, and you can come and go to Edit Free Transform. And oh, I didn't want to do that. Sorry. Edit Free Transform and change the size as you'd like. And then all we have to do to change how see through she is to change the opacity is make sure now that you switch your off of the mask. Now click on the thumbnail. Oh, sorry. The um, regular picture. I think I pressed free transform by accident. Um, all right, so we're on the picture of her and we just have to come up here to opacity. How opaque is she? And we can make her kind of see through. And then we can move her around. All right. 
So there we have it. There's our spooky. Oops, I missed some spots that I could uh, come up here and work on again in a race. I didn't show up down here. All right. Good luck.